In a wooded section of Manorville, entomologist Dr. Scott Campbell is trolling for ticks. Using a white piece of corduroy fabric, Dr. Campbell, Suffolk County's chief of the Anthropod Born Disease Lab at the Department of Health Services, demonstrates how easily ticks attach themselves, much like anyone walking in the woods might encounter unknowingly. You don't want ticks to get underneath clothing because once they get underneath clothing, they can bite and they're harder to find then. We are living in one of the counties with the highest number of Lyme cases in the whole country. 300,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported nationwide every year, according to Dr. Luis Marcos, infectious disease physician and associate professor of medicine at Stony Brook University. 30,000 of them will develop long-term symptoms. Typical symptoms of Lyme disease, according to the CDC, fever, headaches, skin rash, and if untreated, it can spread to the joints, the heart, and nervous system. For Lyme disease, 24 hours, if a tick is on you that long, it can give you uh, Lyme disease. The urgency of spotting a tick on your skin is as important as the need to remove it properly with tweezers. This is not a real tick, obviously, but you grab the tick as close to the skin as possible, the head. You're not squeezing the body. You're just grabbing the head that's close to the skin and pulling directly out. At Stony Brook Children's Hospital, they're conducting a clinical trial for a new Lyme disease vaccine. We're currently enrolling children 5 through 17 years old, which is important because that's the age group at greatest risk of getting Lyme disease. Lyme has always been the overarching one. Everyone's always concerned about Lyme disease. But again, there are other pathogens and other diseases that uh, ticks can transmit. So it's important to talk with your healthcare professional uh, and make sure that everything is um, being looked for. When getting back to nature is more than a walk in the park. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.